Many of us want to go to the supermarket and make some healthy choices, but it could be very tricky. Some food that market as healthy may not be. So today we're going to look at five products that looks healthy but actually aren't. So come with me. I'll show you why. First, neutral grain. From its nutrition information panel, it is very high in carbs and added sugar. It has a very impressive Ironman picture. Yes, to be an Ironman, you need a lot of energy, especially when exercising through carbs and sugar to keep you going. But do everyday people like you and me need that much too? I think you know the answer already. This extra amount of added sugar will all end up appearing around our belly. Second one, 100% natural fruit juice, five star out of five stars. They claim to be 100% naturally squeezed from fresh fruit and with no any added sugar, which is actually true. However, the real issue is nothing to do with how natural it is. It always comes down to how the food is consumed. Within a short period of time, we end up drinking so much more sugar than if we eat the whole fruit. At the end of the day, sugar is sugar. It doesn't matter if it's added form or natural form. It affects our weight and the blood sugar level in a very similar way. The Australia Health Star Reading Committee has decided to bring down the Health Star Reading of natural fruit juice from five stars to two stars. That's shot. Next one, veggie chips. Mm, this is a tricky one as it appears in the health aisles in Coles and Woolies and people think surely veggie chips are much better than potato chips. I guess two things to explain here. Number one, most of the veggie chips like this one still use starchy root vegetable like sweet potato, yam or taro. The carbohydrates content of sweet potato, yam, and taro are pretty much the same as potato. Number two, most of the veggie chips are made through deep frying in cheap vegetable oil, just like potato chips. Therefore, the total calories is almost the same. Not such a great option as you might think. Only then occasionally might be a wise idea. Let's put it back. Milo, yeah, Milo is on my list too. Milo used to have a health star rating of 4.5, which looks very healthy. However, that's only when you mix with cow's milk, which is super healthy. If it's by itself, it's not healthy anymore. That's why the 4.5 health star rating has been removed. If you read the nutrition information panel, sugar is the third on the list which makes this product very high in added sugar. And finally, we are with the breakfast biscuits. The fruit and fiber biscuits made from five whole grains, good source of fiber, great taste, nothing can go wrong, right? And if I wasn't a dietitian, I would definitely be sold, but unfortunately I am. Let's check its nutrition. First, this product is very high in carbs, just like all the other biscuits, mainly using refined wheat flour, the amount of fiber is not as high as it sounds. Per 100 gram products, a quarter of it is sugar. Added sugar is also the second on the ingredient list, which means they put in way too much. Mm, I'll put it back. I hope this video will be helpful, especially when you go to the supermarket next time, you make sure check all the things that I told you. Stay tuned for more videos.